then the banks may have to stump up even more in future. Okay, for now, thank you. Uh, Martin James, money expert at Resolve, a website offering free PPI advice to consumers uh, joining us now. Hello to you. Thanks for joining us, Martin. I mean, you would have thought that anybody that was interested in claiming PPI would have done it by now. Well, this is the one question I get asked more than absolutely anything. And the, the simple fact of the matter is the majority of people really haven't. And I'm a really good example of this. I've been teaching people about how to make free PPI claims for, gosh, over a decade now. And when I was demonstrating to um, a couple of consumers the best way to do this, I put an old claim in on a credit card, and it turned out that PPI had been shoved onto my plans. Now, I'm the kind of person that would never agree to this, and it would never have assumed that I needed to make a claim. And that's precisely the kind of problem that people are facing, and they're the people we really need to reach. How much does it um, promote a compensation culture, though? Well, compensation culture is a really interesting kind of a concept that's, that's arisen um, over the last few years. Yes, there are people who say, well, I'm just going to put a claim in, but PPI or whether it was um, a particular bank or they literally have no details to work with. But the, the fact of the matter is the mis-selling scandal really is the biggest financial mis-selling scandal to affect consumers in the last decade. It's huge, huge amounts of money. And let's not forget the fact the majority of complaints are still being upheld, even after all of this amount of time. Except it was, you know, as opposed to some people, they might say that it was fairly obvious that uh, PPI was a bit of a scam. Well, sometimes the PPI policies could be useful for, um, for some people. I think the tricky thing is many people just had it added to their, uh, their loan or their credit card, or they were told they had to take out the policy if they actually wanted to get that form of credit. Now, um, 12 million people is what the uh, FCA is saying have actually made claims already, but it could be as many as 30 million people affected in total. And it's that silent majority of people who are the ones that really need to pay attention to this new and slightly terrifying campaign. Um, and I really hope that the message that people get through all of this is not to pay to use a claims manager to actually get your money back. It's a complete waste of money. It's money for nothing. And I'd really strongly encourage people to do it for free. It's a lot easier than you think it is. Two years to go is what we're being told. How long does it actually take to process a claim? Well, it all depends. Uh, the business has a maximum of eight weeks to sort out the problem. But if you don't have many details or your contracts or things along those lines, you can actually get in touch with the bank in the first instance and ask them to dig that out for you. It makes making a complaint easier. They've got a maximum of eight weeks, and hopefully, with all the right information, it will be sorted out quite quickly. There are other complications as well. You can now bring a claim about commission charge, even if your PPI policy um, a complaint was previously rejected, but the banks will be getting in touch with those people. If you think you're affected, get in touch and we can put you in touch with the, the bank to find out if you're one of those people who could also get some money back. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I hesitate to utter this phrase, but how do you know you are eligible for PPI? Well, basically, if you took out a loan or a credit card, as, you know, as Ian was saying, um, over the past 20-odd years, chances are they'll have tried to flog you one of these policies. Now, that, as you rightly say, we don't want to encourage compensation culture. You don't have an automatic right to get um, your money back. But if that policy wasn't suitable for you, and just to give you an example, if you were freelance or self-employed, you wouldn't have been able to have made a claim. And that's one simple way that you would be able to have your case upheld. So it's definitely worthwhile just checking to see, because ultimately, this is your money that you've paid in. Did you buy PPI? Uh, would I buy PPI? No, did you? Oh, did I? I did, yes. It was sold on two credit cards and a loan. Now, I've spent my entire financial career kind of telling people not to take out these policies. Um, so I was, to say that I was, I was furious when I found out that it had been automatically added to my policies. Uh, it taught me a really valuable lesson about uh, making assumptions. It also taught me something that I need to practice what I preach and actually read the small print whenever I sign up to see <laughs> Martin, good to talk to you. Thanks very much indeed. Arnie getting involved then. Arnold